Is it hard to get a phlebotomy job? The answer is no, my friend. No, it's not, okay? No. If you're new to my channel, my name is Yadira, and I, for as far as right now, I do phlebotomy videos, and I post every Monday and every Thursday, okay? If you haven't noticed, I am on it, because everything's possible in this world, okay? And if you wanna be a phlebotomist, you will okay it's whatever story you tell your mind okay because i did hear a lot of people tell me is it hard? it's really hard to find a phlebotomy job it's really hard and if you allow those little stories to go inside your head guess what it might be but the answer is no i already said no it's not hard it's all a mindset okay i know for a fact that a lot of people didn't even believe in me okay but guess what no one has to believe in you the only person that has to believe in you it's i believe in you by the way but the only person that believes in that needs to believe in you is you okay and that's what happened to me so if i could do it you could do it please i hope this inspires you to not allow any other comment tell you otherwise okay is it hard to find a phlebotomy job the answer is no okay i want you to start visualizing and vision in your head your dream hospital job if you have one okay because that's my story okay i before i even finished phlebotomy i already knew where i wanted to work i had a place in mind and i would envision myself going to work there which is kind of crazy because you know that's why they say that your thoughts become your reality because it sometimes you know people want everything fast but you cannot miss with perfect timing you cannot you have to just know it in your head that it's gonna happen and the when does not matter but if you really focus it will come to you for the good reasons so timing okay i'm gonna just tell you my story i finished my school and it took me about a year and a half to two years to actually find a phlebotomy job so after i got my license i did work at wells fargo for a year and a half that was the time that i was looking for a phlebotomy job i knew in my mind that it was going to happen so i was very confident i saw myself working there already even if i was not i was working at wells fargo at the time and i was very proud to work at wells fargo as well because i want to work at wells fargo and it was the same story i envisioned myself working at wells fargo and i did okay so the only person that could stop you is you do not allow people to change your mind okay if you want something in life go for it you could do it you can do it i believe in you actually i do believe in you because if you could do it i could do it and if i could do it you could do it the reason why i say this is because i know a lot of people see each other as competition for example if someone gets the job that you want you might feel that there's no more job for you well that's the wrong mindset okay how you have to see things is that for example if you see someone that is doing what you want to do then that should be motivation for you and say wow if she could do it i could do it not the other way around like oh she already took that from me then i cannot do it no more that's not a good mindset you need to know that this is an obvious one but the sun is shining for all of us and you are meant to shine not just one person okay not just me you are meant to shine as well and you cannot let anyone turn off your light go for what you want you want to be a phlebotomist do not give up on it okay just make sure you see it in your head done this time i'm recording oh for a second i thought i was not recording the whole time watch so. this video to not let anyone stop you hopefully to inspire you because in this video i talk about uh that was just one person that didn't believe in me okay but i didn't care what she said or whatever okay and that's how it should be so i hope it inspires you to go for your dreams and if you want to be a phlebotomist you will i believe in you I believe in you.